right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, over. most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting! This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the doctor. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice one-two there. Reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very So one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't <laughs> take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. It's okay, keep going, keep going. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? 
Takedown defense holds up. Look at him dig that body shot right up to his opponent's third. Counter jab, snaps the head back. That'll get his attention. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Got the single collar tie. Immediately gets the underhook. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Slips the punch nicely there. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Oh, connects with the one-two. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Well, this striker knows one direction. That is forward. He knows one style. That is aggressive. And that's exactly what we've seen tonight. He has every intent of overwhelming every guy who steps to the octagon with. And he's doing that up to this point of the first round. Battling for hooks. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. And he landed the right hand there. All right, single collar tie now. Nice slip to avoid the left. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Strong defense there to block the shot. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, big punch land. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Just out of range with that strike. Oh, big elbow. Just misses there with the left. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Right hand punch to the clinch. Big kick lands. Just out of range with the straight left hand. 15 seconds remain in the round. Slips to avoid that left. Big punch to the body. Second round, straight ahead. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, DC, second round is getting yeah, underway. Right. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Oh, big shot, man. Try to establish that jab. Sauce referencing the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Man, it doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. 
Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit. But this guy's defense has been sharp. So catch mouse. You got to play catch mouse. Hit and don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Big punch lands. Ooh. Just missed with the left there. Lunges forward with a left there. Oh, nice. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's gotta be confident that it's going to land, and he's gotta really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Good stitch. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is gonna start to drive knees over and over. You gotta be careful here, you gotta move. Lands flush with that right hand. Right hand on point. Dig and kick. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Nice strike. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Just out of range with the big right hand. Beautiful body kick. Four clinches. Really good combination of hooks in the clinch here. Oh, lands a go! Oh, huge right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left. Superman punch now. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Oh, straight right. No good. Oh, really making good use of this reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. They continue to exchange. Great punch landing with so much power. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, no way, spinning back fist. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's done, he's done. Oh, nice right hand. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, he's hurt bad. Left hook, right hand. Oh, he might be out. Punch is blocked. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Final seconds here. And they separate. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. Oh, he heard a battle of the jab. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two right. rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close. Wow! Oh, big left hook there. And he connects with.
with a punch there. We'll see if there's more with that. Nice liver shot. Oh, and that one snapped ahead back. The referee has seen enough. First by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. The decision is inside the octagon. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 26 seconds of round number three. He declared the winner by knockout. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out quick. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout. But he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.